Hello everyone, thanks for taking a look at my video and my channel, and welcome to Grand Union. So guys, today we're here at the museum on the second floor just outside the art exhibit, and I'm here specifically today because I'm so excited my art exhibit is completed. I finally got my last piece of artwork that I needed from Red, and Blathers told me that the art exhibit is done. So I wanted to come out and show you guys my completed art exhibit. And you'll see over here to the left, yeah... Brewster's Cafe isn't here yet. Uh, I am going to be downloading the 2.0 update. Um, I know that the um, kind of worked out all the bugs and the kinks, so it should be good going forward. And I'm really excited because I heard that the um, construction to like move homes around and stuff is actually kind of reduced in price a little bit. So that's going to be great because I'm going to be doing some terraforming and waterscaping this year, and I got to move stuff out of the way. Um, so it'll, it'll definitely be awesome to be able to save some money. So, all right. Well, anyways, let's go in and check out the art exhibit. Um, I know some of you haven't seen it before. Um, so, and I will show off all the different pieces. Guys, welcome to Grand Union's art exhibit here at the museum. Isn't it amazing? I'm not sure if I've done a video before on um, coming into the art museum or not, but it wasn't anywhere near completed, so here we are, guys. I got all my pieces, all the different paintings, and I love the um, detail that Animal Crossing put into, like, just the um, the room and the exhibit and the paintings. It's just It's just incredible. So, and the story behind um, getting the different pieces of artwork is you have to um, examine each piece of art and determine whether it's an authentic or a fake piece of art, and then you choose whether you're going to buy it or not. And so it took quite a long time to actually get all the authentic pieces of artwork to donate to the museum. But it finally got done. And it came out amazing. It's just really neat to see the thing like full and complete. And this painting here is my absolute favorite by Van Gogh. It's the flowery painting. It's called Sunflowers um, from Vincent Van Gogh circa 1888 oil on canvas. And Van Gogh painted this piece when he moved to the south of France search of more vibrant colors. Oh, in search of more vibrant colors. Yellow was Van Gogh's favorite color and he made seven paintings that featured sunflowers during this time. So, and I actually have this piece of artwork as well at my house um, in the back room that has the orange retro wallpaper. Um, I just, I really like the painting. It's really cool. Oh, Lopez is here, guys. What's going on? All right, you got my attention. What's up, bucko? Let's chat. When discussing art, it's essential to bring up the artist's point of view. In my experience, it's a surefire way to sound way smarter than you actually are. Haha. -ha. <laughs> oh, Lopez, you're too much. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, these were my last two pieces I had to um, donate to the museum, the left and right silk painting. And, oh, guys, I'll tell you, these were so hard. I, I had such a hard time getting these. They very rarely ever showed up and usually when they did show up they were um they were the opposite of what they were supposed to be so like the left painting was actually the gray scaled figure and the right painting was the white scaled figure and it was so hard because it was like i'd have to keep looking to see if it was actually the right painting or not and it and it wasn't so um I had to keep declining, and uh, it was just so hard the last couple times I saw red. It was just like, ah, oh, I can't get it. So, anyways, the museum is done. I'm so excited. And it's really cool how all, like, the art pieces are all kind of displayed. I never really knew how everything was going to look when it was done, but it sure is amazing, like, once it's, like, filled up. And if you guys are just starting to, like, collect the artwork, my recommendation would be to definitely try to get the statue pieces first. They're the hardest ones to actually show up um, on Red's, I call it Red's party boat, uh, but he has his boat off on the secret beach. And it, 
most of the time was always just paintings. It was very rarely any of the statues. I mean, not that there's a lot of statues, but like the larger pieces didn't really show up that often, especially statues. So my recommendation, if you can find the authentic piece of the statue, um, I definitely would go for those over picking a piece of painting because I know several times I had the choice of an authentic painting or an authentic statue, and I really should have gone for the statue first. So, but um, that's just my my uh, suggestion to you guys. Hopefully it makes it a little bit easier for you. All right, guys, let's go outside. I want to show you my um, rose garden that I've created out in the common area. Blathers is sleeping. All right, guys, there's the museum. Let's take a run down to the rose garden. So where the common area was where I had all the wicker furniture, kind of like the common meeting area outside of the plaza, I actually created this really cool rose garden. And you might ask yourself, all right, what are, what, what are you up to here? So I decided I want to try to make my mind melt and I'm gonna to try to breed blue roses. So as you know, guys, I'm not online, so I don't get gifts from other players, and I don't, um, can't go out and about yet. So um, I'm actually attempting to, I found a guide online, and just kind of starting with a simple, um, here are all the white roses, and as they breed and cross pollinate to one another, um, they actually are supposed to breed a purple rose. And then over here, we have yellow and red roses, and they're supposed to breed together and actually create an orange rose. So hopefully at some point, like I'm hoping maybe this might be an orange rose. I'm not positive. Um, I might be getting a lot of just like red roses and yellow roses. I'm not really sure. But um, eventually I'm going to have um, orange roses and purple roses. And then they have to go through a couple more steps of breeding until I eventually get a special orange rose that will actually breed a red rose. And then that red rose will actually create a blue rose. And I'm really excited to be doing this now that it's winter time because as it snows, it's kind of like raining on Grand Union, so it actually will water the roses for you. So it makes it really kind of handy so you don't have to actually have to do the um, watering. Although I do have my watering can over there on the far right. But So that is what's going on today, guys. Um, just a quick video. I uh, just wanted to share off the art exhibit because I finally got it completed. And I um, wanted to show you my little collection of roses. So eventually I'll be decorating, hopefully... Maybe by the end of the summer with blue roses. Because <laughs> I think this is going to take a while. But I'm going to try to be consistent with watering these. And hopefully it'll be snowing every day to help that as well. And um, I guess until next time, guys, uh, I should be doing the 2.0 update. And then uh, New Year's is right around the corner. So I definitely want to be doing a New Year's event like I did last year. Um, I want to record that because that was so much fun. It was just so neat to see everybody. So, and... Um, yeah, what was the other... Oh, yeah. So while I was playing... Um, oh. oh, we got kicks here. Um, I actually have a new villager on the island. Um, Alright, let's see what we... Uh-oh. Let's see what we got here, guys. You know the drill. It's like I have to stop everything. Oh, iron nuggets. I can always use those. So Whitney is a new uh, villager on my island. Oh, aren't you Chuck? I've heard so very much about you. I swear you're the talk of the island. 
I must apologize for taking so long to in introduce myself. A terrible faux pass on my part. Well, I'm Whitney. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. I simply can't wait to get to know you better. So the other day, Blair had asked me if she could move off the island. So I said that she could, and she left, sadly, because I actually really enjoyed Blair. She was a little black and white squirrel uh, that kind of looked like a skunk. And um, I was going to actually do a mystery island villager hunt um, but with the holidays and everything at work. It just, just couldn't, it just didn't happen. So um, the plot auto-filled, and I got Whitney. So here's her house right now, and we'll see... We'll see how she is. Hopefully she has a nice kind of snooty character. As if you can say snooty characters are, are good. But um, I really like Blair. She was, I don't know, I guess a, a down-to-earth snooty character, if that makes any sense. Um, I've had Willow and I had Tipper on my island before. And I really didn't enjoy either of them. I loved Willow. I thought she was, like, really neat looking. Um, but she was very upmarket. And just kind of a little too much. And I also had Olivia, too, on my island. She was the white cat. Um, but you know what was funny with Olivia? I could never, ever find her on my island. So I was, for a while, really consistent about running around giving gifts to all my villagers. And I could never find her. Like, like she would always be gone. Unless she was in her house crafting, she wouldn't be in her house. And she would be nowhere to be found on the island. Like, I would look in the Nook's Cranny, I would go to Able Sisters, I'd run around the museum, and I just could not find her anywhere. And, you know, I don't want to spend 15 minutes running around the island just to give her a gift, so I started leaving her gifts outside of the house, so I remember the next time that I went by her house that I still needed to give her a gift. I ended up with four gifts outside of her house, and I was like, all right, well, after four times of not being able to find her, I don't know if it was like a glitch in the game, or just, I just missed her at some point. You know, she might have been like, you know, standing here behind a tree and I ran by and didn't see her. But it was like after four times, it was it was a bit much. So um, when a campsite villager came along, I think that was when I was like, yeah, Olivia can kind of go. So, um, so she ended up getting, moving off the island. She had a neat house though. She had a, like a purple roof and a purple door. It was really nice. So anyways... Oh, let's see what's going on over here, guys. They're talking. Uh-oh. Guys, what's going on here? Whoa, Whitney, you smell real pretty. Oh, look at this making his moves. Thank you. I've been unsure if this new fragrance is flattering. It's called A.D. Truity. You've heard of it? Uh, nope. Hey, you should try smelling me too. Are you trying out a cologne as well? Let's see. I detect notes of... What is that? <laughs> Old spaghetti sauce. I'm not wearing cologne. I just wanted to be smelled. Thanks, Whitney. I see. Well, that scent is very... You. Oh my god, guys. I can already see it's going to be amazing with these new characters on the island, new villagers. <laughs> so Filbert is relatively new to the island, as well as obviously Whitney is brand new. And um, I haven't been able to interact with a lot of them a ton lately. So um, it's going to be interesting to see the dynamics as they kind of unfold now. So, because this is what... Pretty much um, half the village. Oh, half the villagers are new guys. Let's see, we got Eric, Rosie, Whitney, Filbert, Curlos. I mean, they, yeah, half of my villagers are all brand new. Dom, Kurt, Daisy, Tammy, and Lopez. They're all my older villagers that have been here for, for a while. So, interesting. All right, guys. Well, it's going to be. Definitely going to be neat to see what, what happens here. All right. 
Well, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you guys for checking out my video today. Um, it was a lot of fun showing off the art exhibit, and you get to see my roses and some of my new villages, so we'll see what happens. Uh, definitely we'll be doing the um, 2.0 update, and also um, we'll be trying to record the New Year's um, event that's going to be coming up, because that is so exciting. I did it last year, and it was a lot of fun, so... I can't wait to kind of get out and interact with the villagers and watch the countdown. All right, guys, I won't keep any longer. Have a great day. Thanks for checking out my video and coming to Grand Union. Until next time, guys, bye.